So Manchester United have got two games left in the Premier League season. West Ham away and then Watford at home. But for me, the Premier League has been dead and buried for a few weeks now. And I've seen it in the players' performances. I think it all really kicked off with West Brom. But obviously the Brighton game on Friday night. I didn't do a match reaction on it. I was out. I couldn't do anything. But a few comments on that. Despicable. The players really don't care about the Premier League. And it's a massively stinking aura of just the attitudes of players being on holiday at the moment. Hopefully that won't be the case in the FA Cup final against Chelsea. Not the best way to go into that game though. With Chelsea still chasing for a top four spot, they're going to be playing with a heart and soul. But United right now, completely soulless. Is it down to Mourinho? Is it down to the individuals? Let me know what you think in the comments. But for me, there's a clear lack of interest from the players. We know that second place is basically secure. Liverpool losing as well. The players just can't be bothered. And that's not what you want to do to fans who make the trip down to Brighton on a Friday night and then put in a shower of shit performance. Same goes for West Brom at home. Will the same happen away to West Ham on Thursday? I don't know, maybe. But who would you start in that game? For me, I, I don't care now. The players have made it clear that they really don't care whether or not we win or lose any game, maybe apart from the FA Cup final. And because of that, I don't really think it matters who's playing in there. Mourinho's coming out and saying there's certain players now that have played themselves out of the FA Cup final. Said he gave fringe players an opportunity against Brighton and they didn't do enough. And they didn't do enough. But the non-fringe players played against West Brom and they didn't do enough. I think what we saw against Brighton just how important Lukaku is to the makeup of United's attack. Without him there, didn't really have a focal point, didn't have any real strength up there, and we just didn't have any success whatsoever. But I'm just so, so surprised how much United have just packed in the Premier League. City have won it, we're in the top four. The complacency kicked in. And complacency for me has been a big issue in this United squad for the last few years. And I've seen nothing this season. In fact, it's been worse this season than it has been in previous years. Complacency is something that can kill football teams, in football games anyway. And United have done that to themselves so many times this season. Will it happen again against West Ham? Let me know what you think. What's your match prediction? I'm not going to give one. And now I'm going into the West Ham game, the Watford game, just knowing that it's probably going to be a damp squib. We might win, we might lose, but I don't think the players really care that much. And when that happens, it comes across to the fans, it comes across to the manager. And it now raises questions going into next year where they didn't really need to be raised. Well, they did to a point, but prior to West Brom, had United gone on and had a strong end to the season, we would have looked at this season as a success in points. Obviously, finishing second, winning the FA Cup is not the measure of success for United. But in any other season without this anomaly City team, we would have been chasing for the title all year long. So if we can sustain that next year and close that gap with City, we're on to it. But we've got a big attitude problem at the club. And I've seen that in the last few weeks. And I think we'll see it against West Ham. And I think we'll see it against Watford. But what do you think about this whole situation with how United are playing at the moment? Because we are playing terribly. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What's your match prediction for the West Ham game? As always, if you're new, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.